guys, Matt from East Coast Customs. Just wanted to show you guys through uh, Clive Rosendale's 2020 Roush RS3. Now, I originally spoke to Clive probably about December last year. Uh, I've never actually met Clive before, uh, but he instructed me to um, build the car of his dreams. I uh, wanted something pretty special that uh, you know no one had ever kind of built before. Um, we, I had a flyer on my desk actually from the guys down at Mustang Motorsport on the new 2020 RS3 builds, which obviously changed the, the game you know relatively from the 2019 with a whole heap of new cool additions, uh, such as the diff cool for these, uh, the new uh, obviously uh, vents in the uh, the guards, uh, some other styling cues, bits and pieces that make this you know a truly unique kind of car. Mustang Motorsport have only finished the only other one uh, to date. Uh, we were obviously lucky enough to get uh, straight on board with building the other one of these uh, from the get-go. Um, Clive obviously being Clive um, gave me a pretty specific kind of idea of what he wanted out of this car. Um, I kind of brought it together with uh, getting a few other bits and pieces uh, to put our own kind of personal touch on it, make it cooler than just a standard one. Um, I can run you through some of those bits and pieces now if you like. So obviously the uh, first thing first, the, uh, the GT350R brake kit that we've got here from Brembo. Uh, this is a Ford Performance kit. Um, comes with obviously, uh, obviously upgraded rotors, um, bigger uh, calipers as well. Uh, this comes with upgraded uh, axles and big launches and that kind of side of things. Um, now, we've done uh, some other styling bits and pieces. It's got 15% carbon tint on it. We've done uh, the taillights and headlight tinting. Uh, this thing's got obviously a, a big exhaust now as well uh, with X-Force headers. Uh, it's got the Roush H-pipe in it as well. Um, we've got some interior bits and pieces to kind of spruce things up with the red stop start button. Uh, it's got a whole heap of other gear on here that just really make this thing just absolutely one of a kind car. Um, now at the moment I think we've just had this off the rollers making in the very high 400 kilowatts in the wheels so nudging over 600 horsepower in the old money. Um, yeah look it's just one of those cars that really really changes it up a notch so. So it's under the bonnet obviously with these, we've got uh, the Roush 2650, um, obviously it's got X-Force uh, headers and caps as well, uh, these have obviously a uh, supplementary uh, radiator, um, part of this kit includes a whole heap of gear as well, uh, obviously Roush diff cooler, um, look it's an absolutely monstrous kind of build, I think we've put at least kind of 80, 90 hours into this thing so far. Uh, biggest styling changes with the car so far. Obviously the Roush grille, the, uh, the corner pocket inserts. We've got the Roush lower front grille, the Roush splitter. Uh, the, uh, obviously on, on the side of the bar here, we've got these, uh, I don't even know what you call these to be honest, but they're those things. <laughs> uh, I've got the Roush, uh, obviously uh, square set uh, forged wheels. These are obviously a lightweight track oriented one. Um, one of the biggest changes for the 2020 and one of the biggest things that caught people's eye was obviously now they've, they've got cutouts um, with these, uh, the, the flutes, I guess you'd call them in the guards. Um, new Roush badging um, front to rear. Um, we've got obviously sitting up here, these new uh, inlaid bonnet vents. Um, now, what else? Uh, the hockey stripe's been redesigned. Uh, sticker for 2020 as well. Um, and obviously, a bit of freedom right here as well. <laughs> so. um, inside, these are sick now. So, they used to be pretty basic. These are all being really redesigned. Um, now, uh, obviously full uh, interior package now. Um, so these have obviously got the cross-stitched uh, diamond seats, uh, Roush pedals, Roush floor mats, the illuminated sill plates. Um, there's a whole heap of other little touches as well, actually, that are all just kind of really subtle. Uh, obviously all Roush badging and everything, but you know, this is obviously a uh, serial number one of a kind kind of build. So guys, we've got the owner Clive coming in next week. I'm going to show him this beast. I can't wait to have him down here, show him how we put the East Coast Customs touch on an already impressive car. See you later.